Imagine building an artificial river in the middle of the desert. It may sound unrealistic, but if and when the need arises, it might sound like a good plan. Egypt is currently facing significant challenges regarding water scarcity and water management. The country's unique geographic and climatic conditions, coupled with a growing population and increasing water demand, contribute to a complex water problem. The Egyptian government has been looking for solutions for years, and recently, the country announced a grand scheme to fix the water problem for good. Egypt is going to construct the world's longest artificial river through the desert. It may as well be considered the construction of the newest wonder of the world. In today's video we will uncover everything you need to know about this fascinating man-made river, which is set to become the largest water engineering project in the world. Before we get started don't forget to click on that subscribe button and leave a comment as it's the best way to help us grow as a channel. To ensure the availability of sustainable water resources for the generations to come, Egypt has started building the world's longest man-made river. Known as the New Delta Project, this mega-project is a state-of-art water resource program which combines conventional engineering techniques with modern-day technology to meet the demands of a growing population in a very unfavorable climate. The construction of this ambitious project is estimated at more than $5 billion. The river will span an immense 114,000 kilometers, easily surpassing the length of the Nile. The new Delta project will have two individual sub-projects called Egypt's Future and the South of El Daba Axis. Egypt's president recently made the announcement of the upcoming Delta project which he declares will be the largest in the country's history. The project seeks to expand and develop agricultural land in the already existing desert regions so as to reduce the country's import bill, which took a hit due to the Russia-Ukraine conflict. This announcement comes closely after Saudi Arabia also announced their own plans to construct an underground river longer than the River Nile. This trans-desert river will be 4 meters deep 11 meters wide and span a massive 12,000 kilometers. Anti-corrosion pipes with a diameter of 2.25 meters will be used in the making of the transportation system. The new Delta project in Egypt and the river being built by Saudi Arabia both carry out great importance in terms of providing residents with agricultural products, job opportunities, and making clean water available to the public. These projects are an indication of the country's commitment to developing the region and utilizing local resources to the best of their ability. As Egypt's economic and infrastructure ambitions continue to grow, the new Delta project looks to be the most ambitious of its kind and comes with an estimated budget of 160 billion Egyptian pounds, which is a whopping $5.25 billion. The Egyptian government has been working closely with the Saudi leadership to make this project a reality. With the help of the Saudi royal court and its nation's deep pockets, the project looks to be heavily funded by Saudi Arabia. It appears that the sources from which the financial aid is coming from are not yet officially known, but the relationship between Egypt and Saudi Arabia is very close. After all, it was Saudi Arabia that initially proposed the construction of a giant artificial river with a capacity of 3.2 million cubic meters of water from Saudi Arabia to Egypt, from the Red Sea to the Mediterranean. The new Delta project is expected to involve engineering challenges, such as preparing specific engineering solutions to connect various parts of the canal in addition to exploring and identifying potential environmental hazards that may arise from the project. These are expected to be the biggest expense in constructing the project, and Saudi Arabia's backing will be of great help in resolving such problems. This artificial river will include 22 kilometers of pipes under the ground surface, which transport groundwater, agricultural and drainage, after being treated at the Al Hamam station, in addition to the open path of the river extending for 92 kilometers. So far, 35% of the construction work for the water transmission pipes has been completed, 
as a 65% of the open area work. The new Delta project will be located in close vicinity to airports and ports, thereby creating job opportunities in addition to food security and import substitution. The project aims to cultivate agricultural land over an area of 2.2 million acres, with water supply to this river depending majorly on recycled agricultural drainage water and groundwater. Agricultural exports presently generate 15% of Egypt's GDP. Egypt, being the world's largest wheat importer, will hope to achieve food security and close the gap between demand and supply of wheat due to this venture. The project will help provide citizens of Egypt with access to high-quality agricultural products at reasonable prices and to export the surplus abroad, which will lead to lessened imports, the saving of hard currency, and the achievement of sustainable development goals. In addition to this, it will provide around 10,000 direct jobs and more than 360,000 indirect posts in the local economy. Egypt is a challenging country to live in due to desertification, lack of water resources, and a very high population growth rate. As a result, the country is facing enormous challenges to provide a safe and clean supply of water to its citizens. According to UNICEF, Egypt is currently struggling with an annual water deficit of around 7 billion cubic meters, and the country could run out of water by 2025. In late March, Ethiopia announced that work has almost been completed on the Grand Renaissance Dam located on the Blue Nile, which supplies most of Egypt's water. The dam may reduce the downstream flow of the Nile by as much as 25%, putting Egypt's social and economic stability at risk. On top of this, the Nile River has been facing a significant deterioration in recent years. This deterioration is primarily attributed to a combination of factors, including population growth, pollution, climate change, and unsustainable water management practices. This has severe consequences for both the environment and the societies that depend on it. The loss of biodiversity and the disruption of ecosystems within the river and its surrounding areas threaten the survival of numerous plant and animal species. The decline in water quality and availability affects agriculture, impacting food production and livelihoods for millions of people. The depletion of the Nile River also has broader implications for regional stability and conflicts as competition for limited water resources intensifies. It was in response to all these concerns that Egypt's government started the biggest water engineering project in the world in an effort to meet the country's growing water demands. The new artificial river will act as an additional reservoir for the country and provide more than one-third of the annual water supply for the nation. Meanwhile, the Egyptian government has been rationing water use, desalinating seawater, purifying local lakes, and establishing mega-national projects aimed at lining water channels and transitioning to modern irrigation systems. Egypt is also establishing the National Water Resources Plan 2037, which aims to maximize the country's water resources. The new Delta project in Egypt is surely a revolutionary step which is bound to reap multiple benefits for the country's citizens and economy. It will be interesting to see how the project is realized and how it contributes to Egypt's present and future. On a larger scale, it also serves as an example for other countries on how to tackle problems of water scarcity and manage water resources effectively. Let us know your thoughts on this mega project in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.